Alright guys, welcome back and today I'm reacting to Andor Episode 8, Narkina 5. I love how they change up the music every week for the intro. Very serious tone this week. Is this the prison? <laughs> There's transport ships? Narkina 5, the name of the prison. Oh. Jeez. Hey. I'm the ISP supervisor for the Molana sector. What happened to Lieutenant Blood? I lost the questions. <laughs> You've been at the Bureau of Standards for less than a month and you've filed five false inquiries. Six, actually. I was <laughs> hunting this Is that Earth? Oh, no, that's Narkina 5, alright. Ooh. It's like mostly a water planet. Looks like the raft from Marvel. This is an Imperial Starpath unit. It was stolen from the Steergard Naval Yard last year. We don't know when it was taken. Last year? Wait, hold on, hold on, it's been a year? Andor was in the act of transferring the unit to a person we've named Axis because of his centrality to what we believe to be an organized rebel effort to acquire specialized Imperial gear. Axis! Find Andor and get a hunt started. Whoo! Unfortunately, they've already found Andor. This is an Imperial factory facility. You've all been assessed as labor-worthy. Oh. I'm sure some, if not all of you, are wondering how we risk standing before you without weapons. It's a potent question. And hopefully one you won't need to have answered very often, but... Whoa! Oh! Shit! That is terrifying. <laughs> what? I mean, level one already looks like an exorcism. What does level three look like? It's so unsettling. This is unit 52D. Level 5 and 2, the D is for day shift. Seven levels of factory, seven rooms per level, seven tables per room, seven men, each table. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the 52D unit manager. Is that? <laughs> the 49 men Andy Circus? You won't be back. They only come to pick up the dead and bring their replacements. Holy shit. Man. Use a sign language. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that's a really cool shot. You see the white lights? It's the floor. White is cold, red is hot. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds to get to yourself. The sensors on the floor, two men in one cell. It's an instant fright. Fall out! Holy crap. The rebel activity is rebel nonsense. I don't know anything about it. They slaughtered a garrison. They didn't burn it down either. So this is where you met. No, we'd already been married a year. So romantic. Traditional. Married at 15, damn. The smile just instantly fades.
Nice transition. 30 shifts later. Cassian's like, he's in it now. What are they making? Like, what are these things? I wonder if they're building, like, parts for the Death Star or something. Alright, back on Ferrix. They're moving into the hotel. Hey, we saw him in episode one. And, like, I think we saw him, like, episode two, three, like, over that arc, too. Uh, she wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. Why? So the rebellion can sneak in and take them by surprise. She's a rebel. Uh, <laughs> what about the daughters of Ferrix? She's a past president. They must have a warm room somewhere. President of Ferrix? There's a room to rent around the corner. I said she made her way back from Eldani, I see. Are they like a thing? I believe they are. Is she contacting Luthen? Is she trying to find Cassian? Ah! Man, what a shot! Hey! Four potential routes. Let's take the long way around. Reroute. Yeah! He's changing his outfit. Oh! No, no. Who is it? Nah. He railed it. Beam up. Spear up. Stable bridge. The top. Oh! Yikes. Is he dead? Did he just like commit suicide? Why is there banging? Oh, oh. <laughs> Luthen Segramilo? Segramilo two tubes! Let's go! Garrison and Aldani. Sagarera, let's go! I'll take all three deflectors. How much? No, oh, you meet with Krieger, they're free. If you don't, I'll take the best one. I work alone. That's what I'm trying to change. <laughs> Krieger's a separatist. My pays a new Republican. A Gorman front. The partisan alliance. Sectorists. Human cultists. Galaxy partitionists. They're lost. All of them lost. Oh my god, Force Waker is so good. <laughs> well, anarchy is a seductive concept. A bit of a luxury on our Intramanas, hiding in cold caves. Thank you for spare parts. Oh, this scene is so good. No sale today, Luther. Good luck with that to Whoo! I love Saw. She's on her way out. Would you like us to clear the room? No. I want her to see him. Oh. What are you doing? Get him out of here. Quickly. You two, with me. Now! Oh. God, this episode is so dark. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, I just said it, but, like, that was a dark episode. That was just the biggest downer of the season so far. Just, like, everything just sucks right now. It was cool getting to see, like, the inner workings of that, like, 
imperial like labor camp or like basically and we are we're just seeing more and more of the empire which i think is really cool we got a quick little cameo from uh Saul Guerrero there forrest whitaker Saul Guerrero, and uh we're definitely going to be seeing more of him because there are shots of him in the trailer that weren't in that short little clip right there so we will be getting more saw which I love Saw, and Forrest, Forrest Whitaker plays him perfectly. The word is getting out there, like, because of Cyril, like, the word of Cassie and Andor, it's, like, getting out there, and, like, everyone that's, like, associated with him, which is why they probably targeted Bix there, because she has association with Cassian. And if episode 9 is the completion of this arc, then, like, it'll be, like, episode 7 was, like, the lead-up to Cassian getting arrested, this was him just, like, getting like custom to the camp or whatever the prison whatever he's in and then episode 9 might be like a breakout s situation which could be cool it seems like Marva is like really sick and not doing well and man I really hope she doesn't die in this season because that would just be crushing for Cassian if I have to witness B reacting to Marva dying I will cry <laughs> but I thought it was really cool they got Andy Serkis in there it's like this just like quick little character is like this like he's kind of like the highest ranking member of that group which like and like I really liked his character I think he played it really well we're also getting a lot more focus on Dedra and I'm really starting to enjoy her character and I just love how this series is portraying the Empire just like just like this huge intimidating force that's just so fat and satisfied that it's just like it's so satisfying for us when the rebels succeed. So that's gonna do it for my reaction to Andor episode 8, Narkina 5. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.